Good morning, students. How are you all? Fine. Something new for you. What's new for the day? It's poem. And the name of the poem is Elephant. Right. It is by John Beeson. John Beeson is a great poet, and he came from the land of Northamptonshire. He has been a very great poet. Let's see what this poem is. The name of the poem is Elephant Ride. How many of you have gone for the elephant ride? Yes, many. Do we love? Have we enjoyed that ride? Same way you will enjoy this poem also. So let's begin the poem. On the highway we stop for tea at a rest house by the sea. Now the poet is saying that they were going on a highway and then they stopped for tea. Where did they stop? There was a rest house. It was nearby sea. Grassy lawns and shady trees. Red tiled huts and scented breeze. Now it is the description of the place of the rest house. Rest house had lawns where a lot of grass was there. It was green and there were big trees. Shady. Shady means a lot of growth of plants. A lot of leaves were there. They were giving shades. Huge big plants. Sorry, huge big trees were there. Red tiled huts means they were small huts. You can see in the picture also on the right hand corner. There are some huts and they are made of red tiles that's why it is saying red tile huts and scented breeze breeze is a slow moving air which is very soothing which we all enjoy we love why it was scented because that smell of the wet sand was coming along with breeze you don't forget it was nearby sea now this is heaven we all cried Straightening up from our long ride. This is heaven means, of course, such a place which is giving you a lot of relax. It's soothing for you and you're enjoying at that place. Does not that place become a heaven for all of us? Yes, same way for the poet also. Yes, straightening means after a long ride, you start becoming restless. You feel a little lazy. So how do you? You stretch your arms, yes, to straighten up yourself. So we just oh, they wanted to relax there. Then we saw on a hot, hard road, a young, bewildered elephant stood. What they saw on the hot, hard road? There was a road. There was a road, of course. That's why they were moving on the highway, yes. So what they saw, the, a young elephant was coming. And it was bewildered. Bewildered means utterly confused. Very confused. Why this elephant was confused? Let's see what the poem is saying. Yes. With sad eyes and hurting feet. It rocked slowly in the heat. What was the condition of elephant? He was not happy. He was sad. And the sadness was reflecting from his eyes yes and the feet were hurting why because it was very hot how would we feel if we go barefoot on the sand or on the road in the hot sun we feel it's way it's way hurting yes same way this elephant was also feeling it rocked slowly rocked means to move forward and back why why was it going slowly because he was tired and the weather was also not good for him. Yes. Ready for some tourist fun. It stood drooping in the sun. Now this elephant has to do his work. What was his work? He has to give a ride to the tourists. But it was standing, drooping. Drooping means to bow down the head. When you are sad. You bow down your hand just to show your mom and dad and your teachers that you are not happy about something, yes? 
Okay, let's take one more example. If you don't water your plant for a day or a two, what do they do? They start bending downwards. Why? The plants are showing their sadness that you have not given water to them. And the moment when we water the plants, they just start erect once again. Yes. So this elephant was also drooping in the sun. Now a noisy bus came in, hooting, tooting, water din. Now what happened? A bus arrived there. Hooting, hooting is the voice that owl makes. Yes, we all make this noise when we actually want to uh, give a uh, cry to something that we love. It's like a crying voice. Yes, it's like a crying voice. Hooting, tooting. Tooting is a short, sharp sound. Water din. Water din. Din means unpleasant sound which actually continues for some time. So it was, they were hooting. Hooting was giving a large, sharp cry. Tooting, a short sound. Water din. And it was containing for some time, so it was becoming unpleasant. The passengers all tumbled out and ran to the elephant with a shout. Now, passengers seemed as though they were tumbling out. Tumbled out means to fall down. But then there is no serious injury. That means tumbling. Now, it seems as though passengers out of excitement wants to come out of the bus very quickly. And they seem all tumbling out. What did they do? They came out hurriedly and they ran towards the elephant with a shout. Clutching their tickets, they clambered on. Clutching means to hold tight. When you are scared, how do you hold your hand of your mom? You hold mom's hand very tightly. Yes, when you are scared of something. Same way. Okay, something which is very precious to you. Okay, and you are afraid that somebody might steal away that thing. How do you do that? You hold that thing very tightly. Yes. Same way the people were holding their tickets very tightly. They clambered on. Clambered means when you are trying to climb up something very weirdly, making use of both the hands, both the feet. Yes, that is called clambering. So they were trying to just climb up on the, just climb on the uh, elephant's back. Rumbled, tumbled, hammered on. These are all the no sounds. Okay. Rumbling sound. Rumbling means to make a deep heavy sound. Tumbled as I explained. Hammered. Ham when you hammer on something it makes a sound. Yes. Hammered on. So these are all the sounds. Let's get moving someone road. Road means you have you heard lion's roar. So it's, it's a big sound. Yes. To make a loud deep sound. Somebody said, let's get moving, hurry on, I am getting bored. Somebody said, like, let's move on very quickly, I am getting bored. The elephant started on its way, with every step it seemed to say, you are having fun, it's good to see, but can somebody think of me? What the elephant is saying? Elephant started on its way, of course, elephant has to move on, yes. But with every step, elephant was saying that, okay, it's good that you all are enjoying my ride. But is there nobody in your group who can understand my pain? So what this poem is telling, this poem, poem is telling that, of course, we all enjoy the elephant ride. But how many of us can really think about the pain that elephant has to bear? When this ride is going on, hardly few of us. Yes, so John Mason is just trying to send across the feelings of the elephant through this poem. Do you all love the poem? Of course, I believe you all would have loved. Children, with the poem, I have sent a worksheet with you. Okay. This worksheet has got the word meanings. Okay, this worksheet has got the word meanings. You don't have to write down the word meanings. You just have to read 
and you have to understand those word meanings very well you have to be thorough with the word meanings so next time whenever you just listen to these words you can understand what these words mean okay so enjoy the video and just go through the worksheet with that note what mom says stay at home and stay healthy thank you children